Hi guys, today I'm here to do the Movies 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 tag. I don't know who this was created by, but I was tagged by Rachel and I am so glad that she tagged me. I actually saw this over on Matthew's channel and I was going to do it anyway, even though I wasn't tagged, but thank you Rachel for tagging me because now I have a reason to do it. I used to watch movies more than reading, but lately I really haven't been watching any movies. I think the last movie I saw in theaters was Jurassic World and I think before that was The Last Hobbit. I haven't even seen the new Star Wars yet because my mom gave me the spoiler and it kind of ruined it for me and I really don't want to see it now. So pretty much all of the answers on this will be older movies. Question one is, if you need a good cry, which movie would you grab? I chose Hachi. I remember watching this with my mom and grandma and we all three just bawled our eyes out. This is one of the saddest movies I have ever seen and I will never watch it again for that reason. Question two is, out of all of the movies you own, which is your favorite? I've mentioned this before, it's Midnight in Paris. I've watched this a thousand times, I can quote it. I just love this movie and I think everyone should watch it. Question three is, if you could be best friends with one particular character from a movie, who would it be? I chose Ferris Bueller from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I just think that he would be a fantastic friend. He does the funnest things and they eat at the best restaurants and everyone absolutely loves him and I just think that he would be the best friend. Question four is, if you could recommend three movies to someone, which ones would you recommend? This one was really hard for me because I think you could recommend a lot of movies to a lot of different people, so it would really be different with everyone, but I really enjoy these three movies and I think everyone should see them, even though I know that some people don't like these movies. The first one is Ocean's Eleven. I absolutely love this movie. I think it is so clever. It's got a great cast and I just really enjoy watching this one. The next one is The Princess Bride. I think this movie is absolutely hilarious. I think it's a lot better than the book, and it's just so different from what you normally see. And the third one is Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. This movie is absolutely fantastic. I think me and my family saw this in theaters probably like 17 times. We went multiple times a week just to watch this. It is one of my favorite movies. I think the series went downhill after this one. They probably should have just stopped on the first one, but I would definitely recommend this to everyone. Question five is, which movie character has the best fashion sense? I chose James Bond for this one because I think every man looks really good in a suit, so he definitely has the best fashion sense, I think. Question six is, out of all of the movies, which one has inspired you the most? I chose Dead Poet Society. I think most people would probably pick this one. It's a very inspirational movie, and I think everyone should see it. When I first watched this movie, I finished it, and I thought everyone should probably see this. It was just really inspirational, and I highly recommend this one. Question seven is, which movie represents the life you would love to live? I chose Under the Tuscan Sun. Besides getting a divorce from her husband, I just think that she has the best life. She just picks up her life and moves to Tuscany, and she buys a villa, and it just all looks so fabulous, and I just really wish that I had this life. Question eight is, which movie can you watch over and over again? Obviously, I could watch Midnight in Paris over and over again because that is my favorite movie, but my second favorite is probably Alice in Wonderland, and I have rewatched this over and over. I can quote pretty much every line in this movie, and I absolutely love this one. Question nine is, where do you typically buy your movies? I pretty much just buy mine at Target. I find it to be the cheapest. I usually pre-order things on Amazon, but pretty much just buy things at Target. And the last question, question 10 says, if there was one lead character that you could have a relationship with, whom would it be? There's a lot of people that I could have picked for this, but they're not typically the main character. So I chose two different people. I chose Aragorn from The Lord of the Rings. I just think that he is so tough and so protecting, and I would definitely love to be in a relationship with him. But then I also like Rey from Shop Girl, which is Steve Martin's character. This is also a better movie than it is a book. But Ray is a really wealthy man, and he always travels, and I just think that he would be the best person to be in a relationship with. He's not really that great to women, but I also kind of have a crush on Steve Martin, so that might be why I wanted to choose him. Alright, so those were my picks. I won't be tagging anyone because pretty much all of my movie's friends have done this, but if you'd like to do this, consider yourself tagged. You can also change these to book questions. I actually answered all of these with books, but decided to just keep them to the movies. If you're curious to know what my answers would have been for the books, please let me know and I might do a separate video on that. I will leave a link to all of the movies that I mentioned down below. Let me know what your favorite movie is, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!